to the graduating class of 2021 of the National University of Singapore, the Faculty of Law, I am deeply honoured to be here with you today at your commencement. I remember graduating from NUS Law, like all of you here today, almost 20 years ago. It was one of the proudest moments for myself back then, and it should be the same for you today. Congratulations, but this is just the beginning. And this is day one. And on this first day, there are just three things I'd like to chat about. The first is about the people that you'll soon meet when you step out into the world. Many of them will be instrumental to you to the rest of your life. After I was called to the bar, I joined Raja and Tan, and there I met many people who have had huge impact on me and on my life. The partners at the firm, the mentors, the associates in the technology law group that I was in, all of them have had some influence on my life today, and many of them have directly or indirectly contributed to the founding of Razor. For example, it was a random trip together with one of the associates of the firm to check out a computer trade show in Taiwan. We were there just to learn about new technologies and to see what new opportunities there were for technology lawyers like us. And it was at that trade show that had me meeting the very first manufacturer for Razor. Without that trip, Razor may not have been founded. But the most important person from Raja and Tan that has had the largest impact on my life till today, well, it's a lady and her name is Celine Chan. She was um, my first secretary at the law firm. And after I left to start Razor, she joined me and she's been working and putting up with me for almost 20 years. She's been instrumental to the success of Razor, and without her, we would never have gotten this far. Thanks, Celine. You're the best. So it's not just the partners in the firm that will change your life, but your fellow associates, your secretaries, every one of them will have some impact, big or small. And if you're lucky, some of them will be your Celine Chan. The second thing I'd like to talk about today is pursuing your passion. I remember in year one of uh, law school, one of the lecturers that had the deepest impression on me is now Justice Andrew Pang. He was one of my tutors uh, back in the day and I think he taught me uh, contract law. Uh, unfortunately, I, I can't remember almost anything he taught uh, but that's on me, it's not on him. But one of the things he said back then, when I was in earnest, callow year one, left a deep, deep impression on me. I remember he said to us that law is a calling and that we shouldn't be in law school wanting to graduate as lawyers for fame or for fortune and that it's for us to serve as lawyers for the betterment of society. It's a calling. It's a passion. And I'll never forget that, what he said and how he said it. There is a common trope that I was disillusioned as a lawyer and decided to give it up all to found Razor. It couldn't be further from the truth. I've always wanted to be a lawyer since I was a kid. I still enjoy the law and I would love to practice as a lawyer any day again. But while I'm passionate about the law and being a lawyer, I'm just a little more passionate about computer gaming. We don't just have to have one passion in life. We can and should have many. And my passion for gaming just edges out the law for me. And it should be this case for you. If law is your passion, pursue it. Do your best and make a difference. Serve as a lawyer for the betterment of society. And if you have other passions 
that may outweigh that of uh, the law, your law degree provides you an incredible platform to do whatever you want to do in life, even if it's gaming. Like my peers from law school, many of them are lawyers, but some others have pursued their own passions to become artists, entrepreneurs, and homemakers. Life is short. Pursue your passions. Finally, the last thing I'd like to talk about is the world that you will soon be entering into. And it's not dissimilar from the world when I first graduated back some almost 20 years ago. Back then, it was during an economic downturn. The SARS outbreak was just happening. It was one of the most challenging times to graduate. And I suppose that all sounds incredibly familiar to all of you now with the COVID pandemic, uncertainty in the world and the future. But no, that just as it was incredibly bleak back then, we prevailed. We found light in the darkness. We found opportunity. For example, technology law was just in its infancy back then, but a few of us believed in it. Some of us pursued it. And today, I'm incredibly proud to see that some of my peers have gone on to be some of the top technology lawyers in the world today. Likewise, in these challenging times, many of you will find opportunity and become truly great. Some of you will become top lawyers in your respective fields, while others will succeed in their own way. In closing, today, as you graduate from one of the finest institutions in the world to begin day one, just remember, as you step out to the world, you'll soon meet the people who will matter to you, that life is short and you should pursue your passions, and finally, despite all these difficult times, you'll find opportunity and you'll succeed. Thank you all very much.